Hey guys, it's Donald back with another video. Welcome or welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you what's on my iPhone 14 Pro Max. My phone is extremely cracked, but I have the purple iPhone 14 Pro Max. I'm pretty sure this is either 256 gigabytes or 512. I'm pretty sure it is 512 because I need all the storage that I can get. I literally see how cracked it is, how crazy it looks. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I just cut my finger. And that's why I literally have this case on at all times. We're gonna get straight into this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure to hit that notification bell so you be notified whenever I post. And let's get into this video. Three, two, and one. And this is the screen that you guys first see when I unlock my phone. This is my home screen. And all the pictures that I have on here are from Pinterest. So we're just gonna get straight into the first slide because I have four slides as y'all can see, but we're gonna stick with the first one and go through the first one first. So first I have my photos. Literally photos of everything that I take, literally everything. I'm obsessed with my photos and this is literally the reason why I have so much storage on my phone because I literally take so many videos and pictures of literally any and everything. Next, I have a reminders, which is basically just reminds me to take my breast control every night, but that's the only thing I use my reminders for if I have like, or if I have like a meeting or something, but really it's only to remind me to take my birth control at night. Next, I have my Cleveland Clinic app, which is basically an app for my doctor's office and whenever I go to the doctors I check in through there and everything so I'm not going to be going into that app but next we have the calendar which literally just has the dates I really don't put anything on my calendar at all so yeah that's calendars it's kind of boring next the app store y'all know what the app store is but I have all my apps on my phone, so I really don't use this app that much. Y'all really know how the app store works. Next, I have my mail app, which that's my personal email where I just get subscriptions from companies like Fashion Nova, Sheen, Go, StockX, literally everything. All my like where I buy my stuff from goes to this email as well as personal emails from family and everything else. Next, I have the Ring app. My Ring app is kind of personal because it's just my cameras for my apartment and everything, so yeah. Next, I have Safari. What did I look up? Hollywood Reporter. What am I looking at on my phone? The BET Awards because the BET Awards were last night and I was seeing everyone that won that I didn't watch or that I missed because I was doing something. And yeah, I love the BET Awards. I love any award show and yeah. Next I have the clock which I am always which I am always setting a timer, an alarm, something. Y'all can literally see I have a million alarms for the most craziest times. But I'm always waking up, always have to go somewhere, always doing something. So I always need my alarm set for school, traveling, literally anything. Next I have my camera and y'all can see me. My camera's kind of blurry, but y'all see me. And do y'all see that edge? Yeah. I tried to do something on my edge and it kind of is giving but it kind of is not but my camera quality is literally poop but if I wipe it off there we go there we go next I have a BA calculator which I really don't know what BA stands for but I'm a finance major so this is a financial calculator that we use and it literally has everything so if you're a finance major and you don't have a finance calculator in hand this is the app to get. It literally helps you and does the same thing as a regular calculator, but it's just on your phone. And technically, I always have my phone with me. I really don't carry around a calculator or remember to bring a calculator to class all the time. But this app definitely helps me when I don't have my calculator. And yeah, extremely helpful. Next, I have my settings, which is also just personal stuff. So I'm not going to be getting into that. And going to the bottom, the bottom four apps that are there are also really personal, but I'm going to give you and tell you guys what they are even though you guys might already know so the first one starting from the left is whatsapp and i use that to communicate with anyone out of town um i was thinking about starting a company so i'm communicating with the people for my company that i'm thinking about starting through whatsapp um i also have the phone regular phone calls everything y'all know what that is my messages y'all know what that is to communicate with anybody my man my mom my dad my siblings literally anybody 
that's how I'm texting. And FaceTime, y'all know how FaceTime works. I'm always on FaceTime, so I'm constantly using FaceTime. That probably is one of my most used apps because I literally just sit on the phone with my mom, my boyfriend, literally everybody. Um, so yeah, now going to the next slide. Oh wait, let's go back real quick. I know y'all peeped how I color coordinated um, my apps on the front screen so it looks aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, let's get a round of applause. Round of applause for that because it took some work. It took some work trying to figure out what apps I wanted to put on the front. But going to the next slide, I have my calendar and then two more like neon light pictures because I love neon lights. So it says love because y'all know my middle name is love and live, laugh, love because love again. Um, but yeah, let's, starting with the school one. This literally has everything that I need for school on my school apps. So I have my Gmail, which literally has everything graded, everything for my school. I literally just realized that they showed my email, but we're going to block that out. I have my Canvas app. Canvas is basically where they put all my school assignments. As y'all can see, these are my grades. Ugh. These are my grades or whatever for right now during the summer session and yeah I get all my homework assignments do all my quizzes everything is literally done in canvas for my school next I have a group me I talked about group me when I did the what's on my ipad group me is like an app for college students or anybody but I use it for my college classes and people just create them to help the other students in the class if they're confused so if you have a question about an assignment you just you can just ask one of the students and they can like help you since we're all doing the assignments together or you can use it for other things like, you know, helping each other on quizzes and yeah, you know what I mean. So yeah, next is Photomath. I'm not going to click on Photomath because it's not downloaded right now. It undownloaded itself for storage, but it literally is just a math calculator that also, you know, helps if you want to cheat a little bit. It definitely is a really good app. All you have to do is put your paper down, take a picture or type it in and it will give you the answer. It literally is the best thing ever. Um... When you don't feel like doing your work which is like literally never i never feel like doing my work so photo math is your best friend as a middle school high school college literally anything because it helps you with basic math too so definitely get to photo math if you're struggling in your math classes um but it definitely doesn't help if you're confused <laughs> it doesn't it's just gonna make it worse because you're gonna be learning on photo math just how to do the answers um but this is free form i use this in class too um because i don't bring notebooks or anything into class so i always have my ipad and i take notes on my ipad so these are all my notes for my math class we can just go into one and see if it'll work but this is my finance class and i just write everything that we're doing in class everything that i should be learning about and you know keeping in my mind going through finance um but yeah i do a lot of writing and a lot of note taking because finance is hard i don't know if y'all know but I literally be in class like writing down on my iPad. So yeah, and that's free form and it definitely is really good if you don't have a notebook or anything because I hate carrying notebooks around and making my bag feel so heavy. Next, on the right, we have money, which is basically all my banks that I use. So I have Cash App, Huntington, Dayforce, PayPal, and Discover. And those are pretty self-explanatory. I don't feel like I need to explain those to you guys because it literally is just my bank how I transfer money, like just money in general. Next we have social. Like y'all know, I love TikTok, I love Instagram. I'm kind of on Snapchat, but not really. Um, and YouTube, but I am gonna start posting back on my Snapchat and I did start posting back like just a tiny bit. So yeah, definitely go follow my Snapchat, but I'm not active. Starting with TikTok, this is my account. It's not loading all the way through. But it's the Donna Love. Go follow me on TikTok. I literally post all the time. I literally try to make the best content for you guys on there. Um, and yeah, that is my TikTok. Um, next, we have Instagram. Instagram is pretty self-explanatory. This is my Instagram, the Donna Love. Everything is pretty much the same. Um, yeah, I've been trying to eat the girls up on the gram, but I've been struggling a little bit. I've been taking a bunch of pictures and trying to be more consistent on Instagram. So definitely go follow me to go see my pictures and all my reels and everything. Next, Snapchat. In the cup with my twin, we be vibing. So you can see right now I posted on my Snapchat. And this is my Snapchat or whatever. Yeah. So go follow my Snap. And of course, YouTube. This is my YouTube. 
We're trying to get to 70k. We're almost there, guys. I'm so excited. I'm literally going so fast, so thank you guys because it all is you guys watching me. I don't have anything to do with this. I'm just making the videos and you guys watch me. But I'm so grateful to have such like a uh, amazing fan base and like subscriber base that literally loves to watch me. So thank you guys. I love you. So that is everything that's in my socials. Next is shopping because your girl loves to shop. Like I love to shop. Like let's go to my shop app. Look at all the stuff that I have coming to my house. Literally coming. Skims, BB Designs, Go, Fashion Nova, Go, and two Sol de Janeiro things because the new Sol de Janeiro just came out and I purchased it for me, Dakota, Gray, and Phoenix because I'm going to get my girls right and me and my girls love Sol de Janeiro so I had to get them Sol de Janeiro and one for myself. But yeah, Amazon, Nordstrom, Instacart, Sheen, Fashion Nova, and Go. I literally love shopping at all those places. Those are my literal go-tos. Um, so I'm not going to do that because my ad just might pop up. So we're not doing that. Next we have my apartment, which is Xfinity and Pizzuto. I'm also not going into these apps because these are for my apartment. And it kind of just shows how much I pay and where I live and everything. So we're not doing that. But those are the two apps. And Xfinity is a really good Wi-Fi if you're in the DMV area. I don't know if that's just like a DMV area thing or a Baltimore thing. But it's really, really good. And I recommend it. Next, we have YouTube. Literal YouTube. I love all my YouTube apps. So, first we have Pixar, which I literally get everything done in Pixar. Um, it wants me to pay. But I literally do all my thumbnails, literally everything in here. Like, my 50 plus idea summer bucket list that was literally done on Pixar. What else do I do on Pixar? I'll meet my boyfriend's thumbnails, which I literally have been, like, working, like, so crazy on to make sure that all my thumbnails have been literally amazing. Um, so, yeah, Pixar is really good if you're doing thumbnails or just trying to, like, edit stuff around or remove the background, which I really love about that. Next, I have Fonto. It doesn't really show you my past projects, I guess. Um, let's see. Oh, there we go. My first Evan Fashion Show. I do all my text on Fonto. It's a really, really good app. Um, and I love it because of the text, but I also have been using Pixar for text too to add it. So I really haven't been doing all my videos on Fonto or editing my thumbnails on Fonto. Next we have Outlook. And if you want to send me a brand email, you have to go to my DMs and then I'll send you my email from there. Um, but that is, my Outlook is my personal like content creating email where I literally receive emails from majority of the time or whatever. And next we have CapCut. I literally do all my editing. I edit my YouTube videos on CapCut, but not on here on my laptop. But all my Get Ready With Me's and everything, I do all on CapCut. And I literally love CapCut. It literally has everything and literally saves my life when it comes to editing. And we have YouTube Studio, which literally shows me all of my analytics, all my new subscribers, how much I'm getting paid, everything like that. And also gives you tips and tricks on how to grow your channel as well as things that are trending so you can try to kind of be in the trends and get your views up a little bit more and lastly we have canva which i use canva for everything literally everything it's like a cap cut but as you can see all my thumbnails that was my what's in my bag one like i just use this for everything i do it for the like outline of my thumbnails for when i do like multiple picture ones like when i'm traveling and everything canva is your best friend so that's everything in YouTube. Next I have games, which I love Roblox, but I don't have it downloaded. But y'all, I was playing um I was playing a house tycoon yesterday and I literally love tycoons on Roblox. And if you want to know what my Roblox like username is, you can go to my what's on my iPad one and I think I showed what my username was because I seen a bunch of you guys add me. Um and yeah, and I also love Fun Run, which is like a childhood game which I literally am obsessed with. Fun Run is so fun. And if you don't know what Fun Run is, go download it and play it with your friends. Because you can play it with like three or four of your friends and it literally is the best game ever. It's basically like a racing game. Like, let's see if we can play one. We're gonna play like a little quick round real quick. <sighs> let's see if I can. You might have to flip my thing. You might have to flip your screen sideways to watch me play this game. Cause I don't know.
keep searching for players right now. My hair keeps bothering me. That's why you keep seeing me fling it. But my name is the Donna Love. It kind of is like pretty gruesome. A pretty gruesome game, but it's like really funny. I basically just try to win. I'm in first place. Like everyone just basically tries to kill each other. I haven't played this game in so long, like, pretty much. Oh no. Yeah, guys, I won. I got first place. Yes, I won. Wait, that's basically fun run. It's actually a really, really fun game, and I used to play it all the time when I was younger, and then my freshman year of college, I kind of got back into it playing with, like, my boyfriend and, like, his friends. Um, But, yeah, when I'm bored, I'll play that game, and that is... Oh, and then lastly, I have Uber, which is Uber and Uber Eats, which is literally me being a big back. And me literally not having a ride and having to use Uber. But you can see that for Uber, it is undownloaded because I don't use it that much because I have my car. So if I'm really like, if I need to get picked up from the airport or whatever, and I don't have a ride, then I'll Uber back to wherever I'm going. But that's very, very rarely. On the next slide, you see a picture of me and my man because I love my man so much. But I have my Maps app, my Find My, Contacts, Notes, Music, Flow, Indeed, and I Aqualink. Um, so starting with maps, we're not going on like majority of these apps because they're pretty self-explanatory. Um, maps is basically to find out where you're going, how to get there. My find my iPhone is to find my devices and also track my friends' locations because I'd be bored and I'm like, what are they doing? Where are they at? Because I need to know because I'm very nosy. Um, contacts, all my contacts that I have in my notes be literally full of literally craziness, stuff that... I don't know, I literally have so many notes for literally everything that's going on in my life. Next I have music. I love my music app and I always am listening to music and I literally have one of the best playlists in the world, I believe. I'm, to me, I have the best playlist in the world. Who's listening to my playlist? Oh, nobody's listening to my playlist. Um, but yeah, I love my playlist. Next I have Flow, which is a period tracker app. So it literally tells you when your period is, when it's going to happen, and literally everything. It's such a good app for girls to like stay on track with their period and their cycles and kind of just know what's going on and you're able to track literally everything and know everything that you do. So if you, I think you can even track it when you are pregnant to know like how far along you are, which is actually really nice. Next I have Indeed, just a job app to find jobs and apply. And I uncle link is for my pool to turn up the heat, turn on the lights and everything else, just make it fun. Going to the last and final slide, I have Southwest, Y360, Fizz, my Apple Watch, Tropical Smoothie Cafe, Pinterest, United, Handshake, CBS, Depop, Sephora, Free Prints, and Event Eventbrite. Um, so starting at the top, your girl, you flying all the time, always catching a flight. And this is my app to catch the flight. I go to South, I fly on South, I fly on Southwest all the time to go home and back from Baltimore. Um, Life360 is to track me and my family and I literally track my mom all the time because I'm literally a stalker and I literally have to know where she is when she's not home and she doesn't take me with her. Um, Fizz is an actually an anonymous app for my school. I. I think people use it all around, but it only is linked to their school. Um, and <laughs> it literally be so funny, but it just is like an anonymous app about your school and like random kids at your school just like spreading info and like nobody knowing because it's anonymous. It's actually really funny and interesting. Next, I have my Apple Watch app. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's just my Apple Watch. Um, Next, I have Tropical Smoothie Cafe. Oh my god, I'm literally obsessed with Tropical Smoothie Cafe. I have 900 points. What can I get with my rewards? 
I can get a free supplement, edible straw, free cider cookie, free breakfast item. Yeah, I need to go to Tropical Smoothie Cafe. This is going to make me go because I'm hungry. Next, I have Pinterest. Pinterest is also pretty self-explanatory. I literally get all my ideas, all my pictures. Everything is so cute on Pinterest. I'm just obsessed with it. Tattoo ideas, apartment decor, literally everything is on Pinterest and I love Pinterest. Next I have United, which is pretty much like Southwest. I fly United a decent amount as well. Yeah, but I don't really use United that much. Handshake is basically an app for college students and anyone really, but I really know that college students use it and it helps you to find jobs and internships and literally anything. If you need help and you can't really find one. Next I have CVS, which is basically just for the pharmacy so I can order in prescriptions like like literally like this. Um, it really is easier because I'd have to call and like literally get my prescription refilled, but I can literally just do it from the app and it makes it so much easier. Next I have Depop. Depop is where I'm selling my clothes right now. Me and my man are selling our clothes. Well, not really him, I am. Um, but as y'all can see, if you want to go buy some of my clothes, they're going. It says my item is trending, but it's not trending. It literally just lied. Um, but if you want to buy any of my clothes that are on my Depop, go to my Depop. It is Dawn and Q Lifestyle. I actually have my Depop linked in me and my boyfriend's TikTok, which is Dawn and Q Lifestyle. So if you go to that, it's going to be in our link tree or even on Instagram. We have an Instagram, TikTok. Go look on there. And you'll get the link to be able to purchase anything from our depop um next i have sephora i'm literally addicted to sephora i don't know why but i am and i just love sephora like let's see all my orders That is literally so crazy. I literally have so much stuff from Sephora and I literally am always shopping there. Next, I have free prints. Coda taught me about free prints, which is basically just an app where you can download free pictures. I'm not signed in or anything, so I'm not going to do that now. But you can print pictures for free, but you only have to pay for shipping and taxes, which ends up only being like $5 for pictures and you can get you can print up to 100 free pictures every month and it like restarts every time the month ends so i'm going to be using that because i want to print some pictures for my apartment and lastly i have eventbrite which is basically just makes you choose that if you're attending or not to an event and i did this for when i went to my cousin's fashion show you guys just seen me go to the fashion show so that was like literally what i used to like find out the details and get my ticket and everything and it actually was very very helpful and I'd be seeing people use it all the time. That's everything that's on my iPhone 14 Pro Max. I literally love my phone to death. I love the whole setup of my phone. I just think it's literally amazing and it took me so much time. Just like my iPad one, but my phone's just different because I'm always on my phone. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And please comment down below if you want more videos like this. I love you guys. Bye!